1998, the, the Fed did not take uh, James Stock's advice. It kept <laughs> rates low for long, and everybody, uh, not everybody, but a lot of people suggest that maybe that was one of the proximate causes of the 2008 financial crisis, that rates were too low for too long okay. and excesses yeah. built well, up. You know, okay, so financial stability is a, is an issue. Uh, the, the 98, though, would have been the currency crisis and uh, started in Thailand and then spread uh, in Asia, ultimately not affecting the U.S. economy. Uh, was a lesson from that uh, because it drove U.S. rates lower and that actually helped the boom in the U.S. So um, later you got, uh, of course, the dot-com bubble did come to an end uh, later. Yield curve was inverted in 2000 and Fed went ahead and, and uh, raised rates in the face of an inverted yield curve and you could argue that uh, that was a mistake at the time. Well, you and other members of the Open Market Committee have said we would not intentionally uh, invert the yield curve, but are you smart enough? Do you have enough insight into the markets to know whether you would do that? Uh, I I, here's what I think on this issue. I was around in 2000. We made, we did it, played it wrong. I was around in 2006. Again, the yield curve was inverted. We played it wrong. This time, I want to take this signal seriously, even though when you look at macroeconomic models, it doesn't really fit into the models the way we'd like. But I think you have to take it seriously as a signal. And what I think about this is there is no reason to challenge the yield curve at this time. There's no reason. In other circumstances, if inflation was higher and heading higher, then I might say, well, we're taking some recession risk, but I'm willing to trade that off because it looks like inflation is getting out of control. We're not in that situation today. Inflation is low. It's stable. It's barely up to target, just barely getting to target today. So we don't need to challenge. We don't need to be preemptive on the yield curve.